Question, is it possible for rich people to enter the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven? Some people will say no, some people will say yes. And what did Jesus say? Ah, Jesus said in our gospel for today, it is easier for a camel to enter the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. OMG! Have you ever seen a camel? Mm -hmm. Even in you know movies, etc. Have you seen an eye of a needle? Absolutely. Can a camel go through the eye of a needle? And the answer is, of course not. That's impossible. But then Jesus says, and this is powerful, it's impossible for man, but not for God. So meaning to say, Jesus is saying, of course it's possible for rich people to enter the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. However, and, and that's the point, what, what is this whole idea of camel, eye of a needle, that's crazy? Ah, there are a few Bible scholars, not all, and of course people are in disagreement about this, but they're saying, Maybe there's a meaning to this. Maybe the eye of a needle is an idiom of the door of a camel's house because the door of the camel's house is pretty small. And if a camel comes from a rich, you know, caravan, a trip, and it's loaded with stuff and treasure and bags and boxes, guess what? The camel will not be able to enter his own house. What does he need to do? Two things, and these two things are messages for us, probably. Here's the thing. The first thing the camel has to do is unload the stuff on its back so that it can enter its house. And number two, it has to bend down. It has to lower its head and crawl so that it goes through its door. My dear friend, for somebody who is blessed financially, materially, has a business, is, has a good job, is earning, knows how to invest, knows how to multiply his money, is able to multiply it. The two things you need to do is number one, you've got to unload. You've got to detach yourself from the wealth that you already have and understand that God is the true owner. He is the true owner of all the, even if you say that Brother Bo, I earned all this by the sweat of my brow, by my whole labor. This is the fruit of my work. Yes, but at the end of the day, every blessing comes from God and you are but a tenant. You and I are but, are but borrowers. We're just using it for a time. God is the true owner. He owns all of this. And if you understand that, you let go, you're detached, and you're saying, Lord God, I've got this money. What do you want me to do with it? And so you're more generous. You're, you're, you're willing to let go because you're detached. Your identity and self-worth and security, it's founded on God. Here's number two. You stoop down. That's what the camel does. And that's what you need to do. You and I need to stoop down, submit to God and say, Lord God, your will be done. That is important. Before we pray, I'd like to invite you to our two-day event. It's called Wealth Conference. It is our biggest financial event. And yes, we teach entrepreneurship, investing, business, sideline, side hustle, increasing your income, but always from the context of our spiritual life. It is very, very unique. And I'm really happy that we've been doing this for Gosh, you know, the Truly Rich Club has been in existence for 18 years now. And I want you to join me this next Wealth Conference because it will bless you. It will teach you. You will, you will just flourish in your financial life, but also in the other areas of your life. Come and join me. If you want to grab your tickets, go to wealthconference.ph. And I hope to see you on that, on those two days. Here we go. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, that you are here and that you want me to let go, to unload, to detach myself. And to just want to say thank you that you've allowed me to borrow whatever I have. And I pray that I submit to you right now. And yes, your will be done 
in my life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. For those of you who want to join me in Wealth Conference, go to wealthconference.ph and change your financial life.